Hey y'all, it's Megan from Made for Mermaids and today we're working on this little eyeglasses case. So what you're going to need are two pieces of fabric. One is gonna be your main and one is gonna be your lining. So you wanna make sure that they're mirror images so that they're the right way when you put them together. So this one will be my main, this will be my lining. I also have a piece of interfacing here that's also a mirror image to my main piece. So I'm going to tape this to my iron and press my interfacing. This is just lightweight interfacing to give it a little more um, body so it's not really thin. You can see this one's holding its shape well. So I'm going to take this and press it real quick and be right back. The interfacing is applied now on the back of my main piece. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put your pieces right sides together like that. So the interfacing should be on the outside. And we're going to stitch these together around all the sides but the bottom. So you're going to stitch all the way around so the two sides and also the curved edge and leaving the bottom open with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now it's all stitched together at the bottom and I'm going to clip the corners and I'm also going to trim the seam allowance down. So I'm going to cut it like that. So not too close to the seam, about an eighth of an inch away from the seam line. So we don't want it to be too bulky in our next step. Okay. So now what you're going to do, this part is a little bit, this is the trickiest part. So we're gonna open like this and you're going to put your lining and main together like that. And you're gonna use your hand and you're gonna kind of press this straight edge all the way up so that the seam line is touching. So I'll do it one more time. Okay, so you're gonna open and you're going to put those seams together so that you can see the lining and the lining are together and the main pieces are together. And then you have the seam together and you're gonna use your finger or your hand to push like that. So the seam is together all the way up. Okay. Here's what it looks like on the other side this side. You can see if you open it, you have the two lining and the two main. And this should be pressed all the way up, the seam line together. Okay. You want to make sure the seams are touching along this edge. And now we're going to stitch again. And you're gonna stitch just about an eighth of an inch away. So we're basically doing a French seam here. So you want to catch this seam, that inside, you want to catch it here in this next seam. Okay, so right next to this seam line, you're gonna sew another line all the way up. Okay, 
you can see I stitched another line there. And you can again clip the corner there. And now we're gonna flip it so the lining is right sides out. So you can see that seam is now hidden. what we wanted. Okay. Press this corner out. Get a point turner. There we go. Press that better in just a minute. So you have the lining right sides out. And what we're going to do is stitch this bottom edge together. And you're gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance on the bottom. And then if you use your sewing machine, you're gonna to wanna to finish the seam with a zigzag or a serger. It will be on the inside, but just so it doesn't fray, you're gonna to wanna to finish the seam. So I'm gonna stitch this and be right back. So my bottom is stitched together now and I finished it with my serger. So now you can turn it right sides out. Again, use a chopstick or a point turner. I love this little tool I have. It's called the purple thing. It works really great. So you're just gonna push, push, push the corners out. I'm gonna have to get um, the iron to help me with this one. Ooh, ah, there we go, almost got it. Okay, and so now I just need to iron it and it's done. There we go. So this can hold your sunglasses, your eyeglasses, it just keeps them safe. It also keeps them from little hands getting them and smudging them. These are really fun to add to any sort of gift or stocking or for a coworker. This corner is bugging me, I need to press it. Okay, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I will try to answer them the best that I can. You can see depending on which way you cut your main fabric will depend on which way the little curve and the opening is. If you make them, I hope you share on Facebook or tag us on Instagram at Made for Mermaids. We always love to see everything that y'all make. Thanks so much, we'll see you next time, bye.